On the surface level, the eunuch is about the madness of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was a king of Neo-Babylon in the 6th century BCE. And he's famous for invading uh, Judah and sacking Jerusalem and raising uh, the temple. My name is Charles Fisher. I'm the author of The Eunuch. I'm from Seattle, Washington, but I was originally born in Duluth, Minnesota. The U.S. Army invaded Baghdad in March of 2003, and shortly thereafter, the Antiquities Museum was sacked, and like about 15,000 uh, antiquities went on the black market. And so the premise of the novel is that these ancient cuneiform tablets that detail the history of Nebuchadnezzar's reign, his invasion of Judah, were found. And they ended up in a used bookstore, right? And there was a, a, a disaffected and ex-academic working at that used bookstore. He finds these tablets and he decides he's going to translate these tablets, although he knows no Babylonian and no Akkadian. He's essentially, he's kind of crazy himself. He sounds he just makes up the story. And I was looking for some sort of kind of comic take on this tragedy. And I came upon this idea, well, I know I will tell the story of Nebuchadnezzar's invasion of Judah from the point of view of one of his eunuchs. I was a graduate student for like 10 years, right? I projected that experience, the, the loneliness, the penury, uh, the lack of respect, uh, the mockery of my friends, all of that, the scorn and mockery of the world onto uh, this character. It's basically, I was, the eunuch is an analog in many ways. When I'm really trying to figure out, you know, who is the narrator of the book, I came upon this quote by the great 20th century uh, poet, English poet, Philip Larkin, and he describes himself as a corpse eaten with envy, impotence, failure, envy, boredom, sloth, snobbery, envy, incompetence, inefficiency, laziness, lechery, envy, fear, boldness, baldness, bad circulation, bitterness, biliousness, envy, sycophancy, deceit, nostalgia. That ideally is the eunuch.